Hello everybody, it's Isabel here again, the art teacher, here to show you some more ways of using the masked template that was in the last video um, that you used. Um, so I um, went ahead and cut, I coloured on this and cut it out and then I made it into this and I'm going to show you how to do that. This mask, I'm going to bring it up a bit closer. I've used um, coloured um, marker pens, water soluble, and I draw with the pens and then I add water, a little bit of water. Um, but you should never use the pens on wet paper because you'll just um, damage the pens. Anyway, I'm going to take you through a couple of stages how you do that. Um, so first of all, you just draw with the markers. So, and don't worry about cutting the eyes out and the mouth and the nose, you can do that later. You can even just you know, just start drawing onto the sheet right away. So th this is marker pen. Um, I'm just going to sit down to show you. Here's all the markers I used. Um, but as long as they're water soluble, they'll, yeah, they'll work. Like Sharpies wouldn't work. Um, so the way it works is um, you just work with the pens. And you, it's great to leave a little bit of white paper um, amongst the felt tip and kind of build up your colours um, so you can see like in the leaves I used like maybe three colours of green and I put colours next to each other because um, then what happens is um, when you put add water um, the colours bleed together but don't rub away at your paper just gently wa um, wash the water on and um, what I really love is just the way the colours start bleeding together. So you can see it's starting to happen there. So you'll still have your original drawing, but it just gives us this other quality to it. So you might, you could leave some areas without the water, and you could add um, water on other areas. So you don't have to do it all over. So if I do these leaves, the, the colours should blend together a little better, which I, I really like. Try it on the rainbow. So you could experiment with that technique. Excuse me. That's my daughter calling. I'm making a video. So you carry on adding the water to your colour pens. Um, and I just really enjoy watching the colours blend. I'm not rubbing it too hard because once the paper's wet, it's quite um, fragile. So I'm going to bring it up closer so you can have a look at that. But it just gives the pen this nice quality. But never go back in once the paper's wet and work with your pen because that's what ruins the end of the pen. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. And then this is another way. This one is with um, wax crayon and watercolours, a bit like this. So I'm just going to show you that technique. Um, so I did the wax crayon and sort of these spirals, and the wax and the water can't mix uh, because um, it's like oil and water don't mix. Um, you can see it a bit better on this one that I made. Um, this was white wax crayon, and then I put blue paint on, um, so that's fun. So I'll just show you that next. So here's my, this is just a template I printed off, and then actually, if it's rolling up like that, a way to flatten it is roll it the opposite way. Oops. And that's 
flattened it out. Then I've got some wax crayons here. Um, and you can do any colour you like. So I'm going to add, just so you can see it easily. Um, let's see, I'll do a spiral up here. You can't see that white at the moment. When I put the paint on, you will. Um, let's see, and I'll do um, a flower on the cheek. And maybe, let's see, some leaves going up this way. Get your watercolour paint. Um, see, it's really good if you've got a palette actually to mix your colour because you want plenty of water in with the paint. So I've got a palette here to use, a nice big palette, and I've got the paint. And um, see, Mix your colour up. So you've got blue here. You don't, yeah, you don't want it to be too, too, to have too much of the pigment in, um, because you need it to have plenty of water in with it so that it resists the wax crayon. So I'm going to put a bit more blue in there. I might add a tiny bit of um, dark green to make it slightly turquoisey. A bit more blue. A nice bluey green. Okay, so then I'll tie it water and then I'm going to paint over. I'll start with the spiral. So you can see the spiral coming through then. And you could add in different colours. I can make it slightly different blue over here. So you do all your design first with the wax crayon. And it's resisting that yellow as well. So it's quite nice to paint quite freely and let the colours kind of run together a little bit. And yeah, and don't worry about going over the eyes because you can cut that out later. Then um, think about contrasting colours, so I'm doing the red with the green, so it, stand, it stands out really well. I'll add a bit of orange in there too. But yeah, I like the way the design comes through from underneath. So you could spend longer on your wax drawing, you could even combine, do some pen work first, and then add some wax, and then, and then water the last thing. Just remember, don't mix up the water with the colour pens. Okay. So you could keep going with that. That's another way of doing it. So this one, I did. I just did that all over. Um, I did yellow, wax crayon first, and then all reds and pinks. Um, then I just want to show you how to make your mask um, three-dimensional, like this one. So you can see that bits are sticking out. So I'm just going to show you how to do that next. So in the um, template in the last class, there was also this sheet which you can print out, which would make the witch's nose and um, like this. So these pieces are to make it three dimensional like that. So I just use those pieces and onto here I've drawn leaves and then cut them out. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. 
here's a, here's a mask where I've combined. I did wax crayon and colour pen and then I added the water. So that's just to show you. So when you, once you've printed this out, um, I would like this piece and you cut this out. Uh, Then I, this was, this is going to be this piece at the bottom here that's, that comes out like that. It's going to stick out. So we start with this strip and then I, um, if you draw, you can make it anything you want to. You, it could just be a band of colour. I mean, you could just colour that. Um, if you want to make it something sticky out. So I drew, you could draw on the leaves. I'm just going to do it quite chunky to show you clearly how to do this. Let's see if it's a little more leaf there. Let's carry it on there because you want that fold in there. And, that just, yeah. and then um, just add a bit of colour to it. I added water on mine too, but it, you have to let it dry before you can cut it out because the paper is quite fragile when it's damp. Um, so you can add water too, but I'm just going to cut this out as it is so I can show you quickly how to attach three dimensional pieces. Then you cut that out. I'm actually going to cut that piece off. But I need to leave a bit on the end to use as a tab to attach it. So there, there we've got um, a leaf piece that you can add on to the chin. And then what you do is you, you're just going to score it with the scissors a little bit like that. And then fold that like that. And that's where you're going to attach it. So I'm going to do it on this one just to show you. And then you glue it. One bit goes inside the lip like that, and one bit's going to go under the chin like that, and then it will stick out, okay? So that's how the chin piece goes on. And then for the nose, I did a similar thing. So this is the nose piece, and you could just go ahead and colour that and not make it anything complicated. Um, but this was another piece that I did. So I, I cut this out and then I drew my leaves on and then I cut them out. So um, there's the nose piece. And then you do the same thing. Um, I'll just do leaves just to show you how it connects with this one. So as long as you've got uh, your leaf um, branch of leaves connects with these tabs. So same thing. I'll do some leaves.
And it's the same thing, just score where the, the tabs are on the ends like that. And then fold it, fold that in round like that. And you kind of want this to bend a bit so it sticks out around the nose. And then that would go on round around the nose like that. Okay? And stick it down, the tabs down so it's around the nose. So it's like this. You can see I've stuck it on at the sides there. Um, and then you do the same. The, these strips, you draw your leaves on, and then that, that goes, one goes around the head, and the other one went just above the, the lip. Same thing, you stick the tabs on, one at each end. And then the cheeks, same. You um, draw your leaves on here, whatever you want to draw, like a, it could be a flower. Um, and then they stick on here, okay? And I, I love the way you're kind of building up the layers, like when you cut pieces out, you see the colour below. And that's what I was trying to achieve with this technique. Um, so feel free to experiment with that. Um, I'm going to show you another technique on this one that can also help you get some three-dimensional. You can make a pop-out spiral and then you could have that on one of these. And the way you do that is... Um, So I just drew these spirals on a piece of cardboard um, and then um, you cut them out like this. Just um, start off and follow the spiral in like this. So I'm cutting between two, the two blue lines all the way until I get to the middle. when you get to the middle, you don't want to go and cut it in half by accident. Almost there. And you want it to pop out a little bit, so then just pull it a bit like this to get it to make it go springy, but don't rip it. That's it. And then you just want a little bit of glue here. I've got my glue here, my glue. Um, so I'm just going to put a bit of glue at the beginning of the spiral, like that, and then pick up that, like that, and then eventually I'd cut the eyes out and the nose and the mouth just as we did before, and cut this and we fold it round. If you got, don't remember, just watch the last video, but this is another way of like just creating um, a three-dimensional aspect to your mass. And look, look back at the um, paper sculpture because you could also like colour some of the paper and add um, pieces coming out. So um, I could, let's see, um, I could make like an eyelash like this. Just making a strip like that. And then I could curl one end, like we did before. Remember how we took the scissors? Make it kind of curly. And then I could like add that on around the eye. And you could build up the paper, coloured papers like that too, um, and experiment. I've got another spiral here, and I could put one down there. Um, so it's just have fun um, with a template, and you know, just print them out, and just use it like a canvas before you turn it into a mask. Work on it flat like this, and then when you finished one layer, then put it to start to cut it out, and then think about how you can build out this 
other layer where you build it three-dimensionally. Um, but have fun, um, experiment with the wax crayons and the watercolour and um, the, felt, the felt pen, the coloured pens. I mean, here I did, I left a white background. I just drew out my plants and flowers. Then I put water on the, um, my drawings and then I let it dry. And then I went back in and added some pen work once it was dry, just to darken the background. Um, and yeah, this was the one with the um, wax crayon and watercolour. Anyway, have fun and I hope you enjoy um, working on your maths in, uh, with those ideas. And I'll see you in the next class. Bye for now.